What's up, Leo? Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. We've, I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, recent past energy for you and your person, Knight of Pentacles, ends with the Queen of Swords. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, it can indicate stability, um, someone who's very solid, and someone who's not afraid of commitment. The Nine of Pentacles is a very practical type, very patient, protective. Actually, the Nine of Pentacles is your knight in shining armor. Usually this type of person is really loyal and faithful and focused on attaining a comfortable lifestyle and will work really hard to achieve this. Now, it's with the Queen of Swords, which can point to a woman in your life, or someone coming towards you, or maybe this is you. This would be someone who is not to be trifled with. She'll often have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Yeah, so if this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met so you may need to put your foot down because the Queen of Swords can actually indicate that your instincts they're serving you well so you already know what it is that you want and need now it's about just going after it like I said the Queen of Swords a very forceful energy and a lot of people find this energy abrasive so basically Leo, the recent past, between you and your person, the Knight of Pentacles, and this Queen of Swords. So, what I'm picking up for a lot of you is that yeah, I don't know if you know if you know this person, this Knight of so this Knight of Pentacles, or if it's someone that you're already involved with, or it's someone that came back. It could go either way. But it looks like um, you maybe told this person that if it wasn't going to be a solid, stable, maybe committed relationship, then don't bother. You were just forceful about it and straight to the point. No beating around the bush with this Queen of Swords. Uh, you just laid it all on the table. So I'm picking up for some of you, it was someone who tried to come back. So you just let them know what you, you it looks like you let this person know what the deal was. If it wasn't going to be that way, then you, you let them know you cutting them out. Very forceful. So like I said, I'm getting this feel that it's somebody who tried to come back. Yeah, so you let this person know that you were looking for your knight in shining armor. The knight of pentacles. And yeah, you just put it all out there in a very forceful way. You told this person you, you would cut him out right away if... You got any inclination that it would be anything different. So that's the recent past between you and your person. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We've got the Six of Pentacles and it's with the Three of Swords. Six of Pentacles is actually about a turn for the better. Could be with regards to money because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income. It's one of the more positive Pentacles. It speaks of fairness, equality, the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're heading into a positive cycle. 
not just a positive day over time, but a whole complete cycle. Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to become the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. Share what you have, because there's always someone who needs it. Now, Six of Pentacles is with the Three of Swords, which is showing there's an element of sorrow, and it's undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow can actually be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness or pain that comes up. This way you'll be able to move past it. So this card can point to possibly a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, just know it will not make it go away. So, once again, you have to allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. So, Leo, what I'm getting is that coming up, yeah, like I said, you put it all out there on the table. Don't come back unless it's this way. Don't come back unless, you know, you're going to do right by me. Or you, you, or you let them know. You're going to cut them out right away. If you get any inclination that it's going in the wrong direction. You want stability, you want commitment, you want someone who's solid, you want your knight of pinnacles. So, coming up, like I said, this person reaches out to you and, yeah, they're, the six of pinnacles, they're letting you know that they want this good relationship with you also. And they, they're letting you know they want it to prosper. So this person might start to bring you gifts and do nice things for you. Uh, be very giving. But for some reason, with this Three of Swords here, wow, it looks like you deep down inside you still want to... You still feel like distance distancing yourself from this person deep down inside you still feel like you need to reject this person deep down inside Leo you really want to close yourself off with this three of swords coming up yeah you may feel like this could just lead to a big old heartbreak. But your person is reaching out, letting you know that they want this to be a good relationship. So they start doing a lot of nice things for you. But like I said, deep down inside, yeah, you kind of want to just sever ties. That's what the Three of Swords can be about. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what we got for the challenge. We got the Sun card with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Sun card, things are likely to be going really well. Your finances, they could be in really good shape. But that doesn't mean you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. And I know for some of you it is. Hell, I know for me it is. But the sun card, it says money shouldn't be high on the list. But that's what the sun card says. But it could be a good time to socialize when you see the sun card. Meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card can signify it's right around the corner. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. You have a lot on your plate that you have to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is going to be important. But if you let it work for its own sake, 
that can be counterproductive, so be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it's indicating a very hard work period, and this does not have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the Eight of Pentacles, but it's below the car, it's below the word challenge. This man, he, he gets up every morning before sunrise, and he's, he's working, and it's going into nighttime, and he never stops. He just keeps going. And what's so bad about that is it, it's raining. I don't know if you can see the picture, but the raindrops are huge. So it's a hard work period. So Leo, the challenge, the sun card with this eight of pentacles. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, so your person, wow, they, they feel that you make them really happy. And you add a lot of sunshine to their life. So they're ready to get on board with you. In the way that you think they should. Yeah, you make this person really happy and you probably don't even know it. They're willing to put in all their work and the energy and effort that it takes to be your knight of pentacles, your knight in shining armor. They may not be telling you this, but they'll start to do things like buying you little gifts or buying you big gifts, being really generous to you. So you're not, you're not gonna hear it from them. But when you see that they start doing nice things for you, then trust me, it's a sign that they, they want to be what you want them to be, and they're willing to work really hard to make it work. So, let's move on over, let's see what the outcome is, we got the Eight of Cups with the full card. Now the Eight of Cups can mean that you'll choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, a job, a neighborhood. There's some sadness involved, but the separation is usually in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead if your gut is telling you. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, or a living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Just know that. Very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. Now it's with the Fool card. The Fool card can indicate newness in one form or another. Now, in many ways, it does indicate the purity, the open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We all know ch children, they're trusting, and trust forms the meaning for this card. Now, this can be a positive card in the tarot, but it's going to be important for you to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see, he's not, and look where he's about to land. Okay, so trust yourself to take, if you trust yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So, your outcome, Leo, Eight of Cups with the Fool card. Wow, so it looks like no matter how much this person tries to convince you, you're, you're still thinking about withdrawing. Yeah, you're still af af afraid of this Three of Swords. You think this can just lead to one big ol' heartbreak yeah so for some of you you're gonna jump right on in there and take a leap of faith like this full card and then for some of you Leo's you're gonna go towards a new beginning 
So I'm getting two storylines. Some of you are just going to just take the risk and jump right on in, even though you know or feel that it could be a big disaster or afraid of it being a big disaster. And then others of you are going to take a leap of faith towards a new beginning. So that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, um, as you know, the readings, uh, they don't always resonate with everyone. I'm sorry, I was just distracted. The readings, they do not resonate with everyone. But then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next week, in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying strong and taking good care of yourself during this crazy virus season. So just... Hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day, and take care. Take care. Take care. Take care.